Hi, everybody. Dan Ullman, Mike Beer, the DRF.com Formulator Race of the Day for Saturday, January the 21st, race number 12 at Gulfstream Park. We're going a mile and an eighth. It's the $200,000 Sunshine Millions Classic. Let's take a look at the field. Head on over to the Race of the Day event page on DRF.com. Download those free Formulator Pass performances and handicap along with us. We'll take them in post position order. We got a big favor on the outside, so the favorite will be last in our analysis. Mm -hmm. The one is Tiger of Wales, who was sent to Puerto Rico after a three race win streak. Indiana Grand, Thistletown, Belterra, yeah. Del Camarero. Not exactly the major leagues, but uh, he was in good form the last time we saw him over here. I don't know. <laughs> It's hard to me. It's hard to really want to be against the favorite on the outside in this race. But if I was going to be against him, I guess I would just be against it with this horse. He should get a good trip from the inside. You don't have the distance concerns. I have distance concerns with a lot of horses in here. You don't have it with him. I don't know. I think he's a little bit interesting. Second in a mile and a quarter race in Puerto Rico. Two starts back. And he was in good form when Maker had him over the summer. So this is an interesting horse. He draws an inside post and he's got some tactical speed. Nauset Beach is the number two for Terry Pompey, stretching out off a seven furlong race. He was in against an okay horse and tail of yeah. Saval last time out. And while he was in for the 62.5 optional claiming tag, you could argue it's pretty comparable from a class standpoint. Yeah, that was a, that was a pretty good field of horses he was in there. Um, and he ran fine. He did the best that he could, and it was off a little bit of a layoff. They'll stretch him back out. You know, he's won around two turns before his typical race. It's just not going to be good enough in here. There are several horses who can just run faster than he, than he can run, but maybe he gets the right trip. Terry Pompey is very good numbers, second off the layoff. Nauset Beach won second off the bench September the 26th, 2016, May the 9th, 2015, both for Pompey. Maybe this horse is cycling to her best, and he figures to show a little bit of speed yep. stretching out. The three is High Riverside, who wheels back in a week. Mm. After actually taking a little bit of early money in the grade three house, so probably because Javier was listed to ride instead of riding a Pletcher, uh, the Pletcher winner, Tommy Macho. Right. High Riverside ran evenly, but he's got figs. He does have figs, but um, I don't know. He's got figs for races where, especially the last one where he was not. I mean, he it was, was a not competitive. Up fifth. Was a clunk up fifth, saved all the ground. That everybody was tired in there, and he got you know, you know, closest at the finish without ever being a threat. Um, it's mostly sprint form on his page. He's going to go nine furlongs now off a week rest. I know it's an easier spot for him, but how much do you really like him in here? We're all set. Was fourth in the claiming crown jewel at this nine furlong distance most recently behind Royal Posse, that hard hitting New York bred, who came back to yeah. disappoint when cut back in distance. We're all set's best races, however, have come at seven furlongs yeah. and at a one turn mile. We can expect him to be forwardly placed in this race, but the mile and an eighth has to be a little scary. Yeah, there's no real route for him for this horse. I mean, I guess he was fine last time in the claiming crown, but it wasn't anything special, and there are a couple better horses. In there. Joshua's comprised is two for 55, and his most recent win came in August of 2013. But at the end of the day, he won't be 150 to one like he was in his last two races. What will he be? He won't be 150 to one. I'm not <laughs> saying what he's going to be. I will not make the line on Joshua's comprise. Piloting won two starts back in the slop, and that's been the story of piloting's right. career. He loves a wet track. Three for six on off going, one for 17 on mm. firm and fast dirt. He showed some speed last time out in the Millions Classic preview. Mr. Jordan ran right over the top of him. Yeah. Mr. Jordan kind of bombed when cut right. back to a one turn mile last time out. We have distance concerns here, but I think at least he can sit a nice trip off the paces to the insides in the three wide tracking trip. I agree. He's got speed, but he's not, you know, this you know, horse who just has to be on the lead. I think he'll get a good tracking trip in this race. We talked about about this a little bit um, when we discussed Mr. Jordan uh, last in last weekend's races. I don't buy that figure. For that last, I think that figure is a little bit high. Um, I'll be surprised if he can run it again. Yeah. It's higher than anything he's ever run by a good large margin in 25 prior starts, where his best race was an 86. That came two starts back when he was loose on the lead over his preferred wet track. Right. Uncle Vinny is a Todd Pletcher at Gulfstream, which means you have to give him a second and a third look. Even though Uncle Vinny hasn't re finished first in a race since the five furlong debut at Belmont. He is a great at stakes winner via disqualification. Yeah, I mean, I know that it's Pletcher at Gulfstream and these horses tend to win, but I mean, really, what is there to like about this horse? Um, his overall form just isn't good at all. He's not fast. They've stretched him out one, two, three, four times. Not one of those races is any good at all. 
I, I don't know. I don't. Outside of play, if this horse was traded by anybody else, what price would he be in this He'd race? He'd be a giant price. He has one buyer speed figure over 80 in his career. The expected heavy favorite He's in here, win. Awesome Sluice. His last three buyers are 97, 98, 97, and one of those races he buried Uncle Vinny. Last time out in the Harlan's Holiday, you could make the argument that Joel Rosario was simply a bit conservative coming out of the yeah. gate. The lead was his for the taking, yeah. you could make the argument. They didn't want it. Stanford took the lead and it was good night, Irene. I thought all things considering off a little bit of a layoff, he ran okay. I did too. I, I don't care for the ride that he got. I don't think that Castellano will ride him that way this time. He's going to come out of there running from the outside. Doesn't mean he has to go right to the front, but he certainly can if he wants to, and he's the best horse in this race. Uh, and I, I would just try to get the lead in here. Me it, too. And if not, he has at least shown the ability to sit a little bit off of the pace and run well. That non-winner is a one other than in his three-year-old debut showed that at Monmouth. He's the best horse in the race. The mile and an eighth is a little yeah. bit of a concern. You and I have always liked this horse. It's seven furlongs, maybe a yeah. distance is up to a mile and a sixteenth. Can the distance get this horse beat even against inferior competition? I mean, I suppose it can. The problem with taking that position in this race, for me anyway, is I don't see anybody else who really looks like they're going to love the nine furlongs either. I feel like they're all in sort of the same boat, and he's the best horse. Maybe Tiger of Wales will appreciate the nine, yeah. but let's take a look at our picks for the Sunshine's Millions Classic. We'll be on beginning at 3 p.m. Eastern on Saturday afternoon, live.drf.com with all the updated analysis, post scratches, program changes, track conditions, etc. We're both chalking out with the favorite, the eight awesome slew. If you're playing the Saturday Sunshine Millions Gulfstream card from home, here's the new deal for new DRF Bets members. $300 sign-up bonus. DRF.com slash trifecta is where you want to go for all the details. Join DRF Bets for a huge bonus. Approximate post time for the Sunshine Millions Classic, race number 12 at Gulfstream on Saturday. Again, it's 535 Eastern. Good luck.